So what can we tell about these stromatolites by looking at their texture, their structures? We see in this bedding plane surface, which was initially deposited flat and has now been tilted at an angle, we see concentric mounds. They're actually cross sections through a little domal structure. There's one there and one there. In fact, they're all over through here. And these were little columns of algae, blue-green algae, that were growing in a shallow sea. And the algae, the domes, as the, if the water deepened, the organisms kept growing towards sunlight. And so in the shallow seas, shallow clear seas, these uh, layer upon layer of algae were, uh, were colonizing these structures. And then later on when it became rock, the very fine detail of these algal laminae and the algal mounds get preserved in the rock. We're not seeing the, the organisms themselves, of course, because they're single-celled and very tiny, but we're seeing the, the imprint of their colonies, their laminae, their mounds, their, uh, the structures that we call stromatolites.